The best bunch defense in Madden 25 is in the nickel double mug defense, and this is going to be found in the New York Jets defensive playbook. Now, it is in other playbooks as well, but I believe the best version of this is in the New York Jets because you also get the formation dollar, uh, which dollar is just probably the best formation to defend the pass every single year. Um, it's just super effective. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into how I like to defend bunch with this defense and kind of some unique stuff you can do so first and foremost we are in the free safety inside package in this double mug defense and this is going to give us a lot of flexibility in terms of our coverages and so much flexibility that we're going to be able to kind of like force some bad reads by our opponent now it's going to be kind of super in-depth guide to defending bunch and you can apply these concepts to whatever defense you're running now if you want to learn my entire nickel double mug defense how i run it how i set everything up make sure that you join the school community school.com slash cody ballard that's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for madden and for college football so if you want to check that out the link's going to be in the description below so we have free safety one inside package equipped we have uh, basically fast players, safeties at linebacker, linebackers at DN, DNs at DT, your fastest players is what's going to make this defense as, as good as it possibly can be. And we're going to be in the play nickel dog three buzz. So if we think about bunch, uh, what makes bunch really effective is its ability to create high low reads on the left side of the field and the right side of the field relatively easily while simultaneously providing decent middle of the field backside concepts. So how are we going to defend that within our formation? Well, what does bunch do well? What's the best play in bunch? The best play in bunch is double post, right? And we're just going to straight the slot receiver. This is a play that pretty much everyone's going to run. So we're going to just show blitz, pinch our D line, slant our D line inside. And this is kind of our, our blitzing aspect, our setup here. Now, what I like to do against Bunch, and a lot of people don't do, is I'm actually going to bring this defender over the center like this. I'm going to actually manually move him here. The reason why is because I can, because we have this package equipped, I can put him in an outside third to the left, I can put him in an outside third to the right, and I can put him in a middle third. The reason this is very helpful is because, let's say I'm playing double post, for example, I can put him on either side of the field to do whatever I want him to do. Right. I think that's super helpful. Again, against a compressed formation like bunch, this um, you don't have to. He doesn't have to be out here to get there. Right. So that's why I like to put him here. I feel like it gives me the most amount of flexibility. I like to get him in the middle of the field because I still want him to play middle third, but I want him to get him right here. Now, how do I like to defend double post? Well, the best route on double post, of course, is the post route. So what I like to do on this left side is we're going to deep half this left side outside corner we're gonna put this left side defensive end put him in a curl flat i'm going to show you why in a minute and then on the right hand side of the defense we're actually going to flip flop our our defense here we're going to take the slot corner and because we have that safety package we're going to put him into a outside third to that side of the field then what we're going to do is we're going to put the outside corner into a soft squat and you'll see there and then we're going to put the defensive end in a vert hook this adjustment sequence is really effective for a double post. You have this vertical hook. You can shade underneath uh, if you want. Just make sure you put the soft squat and the purple out there. The shaded down vert hook is probably the best way to defend this running back route. Um, the soft squat will defend the tight end wheel. The middle third will defend the streak. And the deep half is going to have a shot at defending the post. So we'll just call the hike here. And you're also going to get really good pressure with this defense. And I want to kind of go over what's going on. So... What I like to see here, instant replay, we snap this ball. First and foremost, tight end flat. Not really going to throw that. I mean, you can, but you're going to get like two yards, right? At the end of the day, that's not a huge deal. Uh, backside running back route is pretty much bagged. You can't, can't really throw that. Now, this is a, a cool thing. So this C route, this curl flat zone this year does a really good job of kind of getting out and taking away stuff like this. So that's actually a very pickable ball this year. You can actually make a play on that ball. I am going to go over something that they can do in a minute. But for right now, we're going to leave it here, and we're going to cover this. Now, the next thing that we have is this deep half. You're going to see he is going to kind of look like he's going to the C route, but late he's going to actually come back and play this double post post. So that's something else that you have going forward. Now, what's my user responsibility here? Really, my user responsibility is to essentially guard the post. There's nothing else that I need to guard as a user. I can help with this post as well and take this away. 
So that's how we like to defend uh, double post. Now, let's talk about some of the other things that makes Bunch good and that you need to be aware of. So another setup that is really good at a Bunch is essentially curl flat. And this year, it's a little different than last year. This year, because of the custom stemming, they're going to stem this corner on the right all the way down like this. Probably put the tight end on like a streak and basically run the play. Something like this, right? Something like this. So this is going to do a really good job of defending this play as well. This outside third is such a good adjustment. So... You're going to bring this guy down, like I said, right here. You can leave him in this middle third most of the time. I'm going to talk about a specific reason why you're not in a minute. But show blitz, bring this guy to the middle of the field, pinch D-line, slant inside. That's going to set up your, your blitz. And then now what I like to do is we're going to outside third that corner. We're going to soft squat this guy, and I'll show you something really glitchy that the soft squat's going to do for us. And then basically, like I said, the same adjustment. So... I would vert hook and chain underneath before I soft squat over here. If you're like thinking about a, an actual order and then essentially this three rack. So your job on this play is pretty much going to be to guard the drag, but I want to show you kind of how this goes. So you'll see snap at the ball. If they try to throw this, this short corner, he's going to play that. That soft squat is going to play that short corner this year really, really well. And sometimes that soft squat will actually match him completely and just eliminate him from the play. But basically here you have this, this streak that's going to be covered. The outside third is going to take the deeper corner. And if they throw this early, like you got to throw this short corner right now. Now I've got it bracketed between this outside third and the soft squat really, really well. You have the backside vert hook. Vert hook's going to just do a good job kind of catching this backside drag. And you see here that this backside drag is basically defended by the same defense. So, and you can feel free to put the backside. If you wanted to put the solo uh, corner in a half, you could. So what's the vulnerability to this defense? Well, I want to go over one other money play from Bunch, then we'll talk about, like, what's it, what's it weak against, right? So uh, the other money play is verticals. Uh, this has been one of the best plays in the game for a long time. So, again, we're going to do the same adjustments. We're going to outside third. We're going to soft squat. Um, we're going to vert hook. We're going to curl flat. Right. This is pretty much what we're doing. And the deep half. So the deep half on this is actually really good because it can actually play the crosser when they run that crosser over the middle of the field like that. And you'll see here in this play vertical. So I just let the play run and we'll kind of go over how things are going to look. But basically, your responsibility here is the crosser. The uh, running back is kind of open, but he's not open enough. That's it's like it's not that big of a deal for them to throw that in route. We're going to just basically tackle him. There's not a, you know, you're not going to be able to break a lot of tackles in this game like you could in college. So like this throw right here does not kill us whatsoever. Now on verticals, you're going to see that this vert hook carries this tight end into this seam, and we play plays pretty good. Also, your soft squad on this outside here, he's going to do a good job. Just kind of sits there for a second. He can rally down, make a tackle on that instant throw, and then late in the play, you see he's actually going to robot back down to the running back, and then you have that third that's taking this guy over the top. So you have all that stuff taken care of. The streak is really just, I mean, it's just going to be defended at the end of the day. But notice what this deep half does. So this deep half, if they try to throw this crosser in this window, now again, I could just use it the crosser, but if they try to throw this crosser in this window, this deep half is right there. You can make a play on that ball in this game. So we're not super concerned about verticals either. The only thing we're really concerned about with this coverage shell is a really, really good route that not a lot of people throw. Most bunch players don't even throw this route, but it is a speed out to the solo receiver. So what they can do is they could put this guy, instead of on the C route, we're going to put him on this new hot route, like a speed out route. And even this curl flat, even though it's a good zone, it's not going to get out there to defend that speed out because that speed out is going to cut very quickly. So let me kind of show this. I'm going to put that purple there. And then, like I said, I'm not too worried about the rest of the shell, but it's basically this. And what you're going to see is this speed out is just going to be really hard to defend. So you see here, I'm just going to pass lead outside. You see he's kind of open in that little, that little area of the field. So this is kind of my super secret adjustment that I like to use for bunch to defend something like that. And that is what we're going to do. This is why we bring this guy down. So the reason we bring this guy down is because – Every now and then, if they start to throw a lot of speed outs, we're actually going to take this uh, they take this safety, and we're going to put him at outside third to the left. Now, I know it looks a little risky, but I want you to understand what they're going to actually do in their route combination that's going to allow us to put this guy here. So 
the the most underrated thing about this outside third is number one, he can run there, he can get there really quickly, and number two, on this other side of the field, we can take this slot quarter, put him in a middle third. And now we have a defense that basically looks like this. Another thing we could do is we could, you know, basically just roll the dice and say we're going to be the middle third, or we could just man up everybody on the right. Okay, a couple different options. What I like to do is this one right here, and then we're just going to zone the D end into a hard flat on the bunch side. Now you are susceptible in this setup to a corner route to the to the right, so you might need to user that right. But let's talk about why this is a good uh, good defense because this allows me to put this corner on a soft squat or a cloud. Now, I'm going to explain why you would want to use a cloud or a soft squat. So a soft squat has matching principles built within it that if there is no flat zone, like if the running back doesn't run a table route, the soft squat will match this guy really, really well. So you could do that. And then, and then really the defensive end on the left side He's kind of honestly like a flex defender. And ideally, in a perfect world, I don't want to give any tells, but it would be great to creep on him. But you see, I can't really do that. I kind of got to stand here. So one thing you could also do is you could put the defensive end here into a three wreck um, or just a vert hook and then put your user in a deep. This is like super advanced. Put your user in a deep third. Put this guy in that third like we were doing here. Basically, we're in the same coverage on the left. But now what you're going to do is at the snap of the ball, you're going to switch stick onto this guy right here. It's a super advanced little deal, but it will actually it's actually better than what I was what I was just showing you because now you're able to not have to be, you know, you can basically have split field split field coverage. But bring this guy down, put him in the third to the left. Bring this guy down, user him. And then if we just wanted to keep it more basic here, soft squat, I'd probably want you to send I just don't know what this – I feel like maybe just waiting up to the running back. Like, this defensive end doesn't really do anything functionally for you, but he's also not, like, super helpful to the blitz. So I'm not – you know, because we're not sending six here. And then and then you could just run, you know, basically a cover three to the right side. Another thing you could do – oh, I forgot you could do this. You can actually crossman this D into the tight end. I forgot about that. You can crossman into the tight end if you want to. So, But let's take a look at the soft squat. So what the soft squat does against a speed out route, it'll also do this to, like, a C route. But these, like, when they try to do stuff like this, watch this soft squat. Oh, you see there? He's going to play it. Now, the reason I like a soft squat the most is because of what you're about to see. So, oh, third. Shit. And then the soft squat. So the vulnerability that a soft squat has, but I want to show you, like, so you're thinking as you're watching this, there's nobody deep. You know, they got you out leverage. They're just going to throw over your head, right? probably what you're thinking okay the thing is watch this soft squat it's going to match him vertically and it's going to take him take him all the way up the field so you, you you still are able to defend the deep side of the field if they don't put their running back on a flat route which a lot of people in bunch don't they don't really put the running back on the table route in this formation so look at this you have a, you have a really good defense on this right now you're saying okay what else can we do? A couple other things we can do. So in this defense, we do have a middle third a lot of the time. So we're not really worried about like in-breaking patterns. So you can just man this guy up and individually shade him to the left. Individually shading him to the left. Basically run man. I would, I would just do it like this. Literally just run man to the right. And then we're going to run zone or man to the left, zone to the right. Something like this is really good. Um, you can also... Vert hook him. And the reason this is good is because because we shaded outside, the speed out is not going to be as open, the shade outside. And then the reason you shade outside is because then when the, if they run like a post route on that left side, it's going to run into the middle third. So you have kind of an inside-outside game on that solo receiver that you're playing. So there's just a lot you can do with this defense. Um, this defense does a really good job against Bunch. It does a really good job against Trips. It does a really good job against everything. It's probably the best defense in the game. Um, another thing you could do that's got kind of an underrated defense for Bunch, remember we're bringing this guy down. When you move players manually, they play cross man a lot better. So we could do something like this. We can man this guy up on the slot. We're going to man the blitzing slot corner up on the outside guy. And then we're going to man up the defensive end onto the tight end. And we could literally just run a man-to-man -man defense across the board 
What I would do with this is you, I would shade inside because you don't have any safety help. So I would shade universally. Everybody shaded inside. And then we have that outside third to the right side. And you can put them in a cloud if you want to as well. Uh, but that's going to help kind of bracket any corner routes. This is another good setup that I like. You see this cross man is going to play, play really, really well. So those are some of my favorite ways to defend bunch in this game. Wanted to kind of give you just an in-depth tutorial video that explains, you know, what you can do. I really like manning these DNs up. I really do. Like, watch this. Watch these man up DNs play. Like, they just play stuff, man. So I, I love this defense against bunch right now. If they do go to bunch strong, honestly, not a whole lot changes this year. Like this, this. If they go, let's say they go to like wide trail here. So that it actually, I think it's easier for us because they can't, they can't really threaten this left sideline very well. So what I like to do is is essentially the first defense. You don't even and you don't have to have a deep half here. You can leave this guy in a third, but you have third, middle third, right? And then the main tip is slot corner in that outside third, soft squat, vert hook, and then on this left side, hard flat or curl flat zone. Pretty easy. Um, this is this is a, a really effective way of defending most of what they're going to do uh, from this formation, right? And I'd probably shade the vert hook down when I'm playing, uh, especially when I'm playing Bunch Strong. And the main thing you're looking for here is a seam streak to the left side, which is why, again, we bring this guy down. They can't throw seam streaks as easy. And you see here, this is pretty decent defense. So those are my favorite tips and tricks for defending bunch as of right now. If you guys want to check out my entire defensive ebook, if you enjoyed this kind of video tutorial, I think you'll love our ebook site, school.com slash Cody Ballard. A ton of knowledge in there, a ton of people helping each other get better. It's where you get access to everything. You get unlimited access to the entire site for just $10 a month. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description below.